And at 139 overall, the Baltimore Ravens are taking Coastal Carolina 10. Isaiah likely has fallen significantly down the board after supposedly running a 4 8 40 time at his pro day. That's just not going to cut it for a guy who's basically the prototypical big wide receiver. He's 6 foot 4, 240 pounds, 31 and 7 8 inch arms. Has some blocking capabilities, but not a guy who can make every block for you. We get walked back by bigger uh, edge rushers, by bigger linebackers. So he's going to be more of a slot kind of player. Back to back years with at least 600 yards. So he's very productive in college. 59 receptions for 912 yards and 12 touchdowns this past year, playing alongside Grace McCall. So, a highly productive player in college. And he says he has to catch away from his body. He generates yak with his acceleration, which I think is better than his 40 time shows. He's pretty bursty into routes, and he's got great get off the line of scrimmage. And he's able to win all three levels because he has that burst and he's got that ability to create uh, with the acceleration. All that being said, the three cone, the 40 time, they're bad. The 20 yard shuttle is bad. The testing numbers just look poor. And this is a guy who will be limited in terms of his blocking capabilities. So this is a depth piece for Baltimore. A total, a total developmental piece. And frankly, with this tight end room, I mean, you got Mark Andrews, Nick Boyle, Charlie Kohler, guys who I view all as being better than Isaiah Likely at the moment. Nick Boyle, of course, being in more limited role as a, like, primarily a blocker than a pass catcher. I'm wondering if they're going to play Likely as a slot option, potentially. Like, legitimately play him as a receiver as opposed to playing him as a tight end.